Hi guys! <laughs> Happy Sunday everybody. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just um, Instagrammed a picture saying that today is YouTube Sunday. So happy YouTube Sunday. I'm going to be making a bunch of long overdue videos as well as responding to messages and questions. Um, and yeah, I just came back from church. This is what I wore today. It's um, the new dress that I showed you in my haul. I've got on my juicy, uh, my new juicy necklace. And then my face is just natural. So yeah, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, first of all, I'm going to be doing um, a long overdue collection video. It's not going to be the whole thing. I'm going to break it down. Um, and excuse my Alma. <laughs> we're going to be talking about my Steve Spruce collection for today. Um, it's pretty small to me because um, I've seen huge collections, but we're going to talk about that first. So yeah, enjoy guys. Okay. I think we can pretty much see everything. Um, we're not going to see my face for this video, unfortunately. Um, okay, so yeah, this is um, my Steven Sprouse collection from Louis Vuitton, as I stated. Um, this was a collection originally released in 2001. Um, it was Marc Jacobs' collaboration with uh, the late Steven Sprouse. Steven Sprouse passed away, and then Louis Vuitton, um, under Marc Jacobs, re-released the collection in 2009 to pay tribute to the late artist. Um, I don't know too much about Stephen Sprouse um, other than he was an artist um, and I know that for the 2009 collection there were two patterns. There was the graffiti and then the roses. Um, and I also know there was some, some leopard. Like there were some leopard printed scarves as well as some bandeaus and um, I believe that was it. So for the graffiti and the roses line, they both had key balls, um, they both had shoes, they had ready to wear items, they had scarves. Um, this particular collection, I don't believe they had a bandeau. I think maybe the graffiti had a bandeau. Um, I'm not too sure. They had a Neverfull. Um, the GM was for the graffiti, and then they had the MM for the um, roses. And I, I'm not sure if the uh, graffiti came in an MM size. And then I know they had the Speedy 30 for both collections. Um, as well as some bag charms for the graffiti. Um, the graffiti pieces came in um, three colors. There was a fuchsia, a lime green, and an orange. And then the roses pattern just had the one pattern. But it has different color variations. Okay, now that we've got the history out the way, um, let's start with my first piece. My first piece from this line was my Neverfull. You guys have all seen this bag before. It's a really popular style of bag and the pattern on it is gorgeous. It's the hot pink graffiti print. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Now this bag, um, <laughs> when I got mine, um, I wore it to death and I would always wear it with this one blue sweater. So I do have some color transfer on this side of the bag. Um, this particular bag, the pattern was, it's not made with one piece of fabric, so the pattern is not upside down on the back of the bag. They're both sitting upright. Um, underneath is the typical monogram pattern, and then on top, the um, Louis Vuitton Stefan Sprouse words are graffitied onto the bag, and it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Um, all of the items that I have from the Steven Sprouse collection were made in France with the exception of, or excuse me, Paris with the exception of my bandeau and then as well um, as my roses stole. Those two were made in Italy. So here's the Neverfull. And then I've stuffed her with towels because the more you wear it, um, the the softer the canvas becomes. But this is the inside of the bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this like bright fuchsia pattern and then the words um, Louis Vuitton Paris are graffitied in like a silver, silver color. And then the inside it does have a D-ring and this bag has no zipper, it just has a clasp on the top. And I absolutely love the Neverfull style. As you know, I'm debating between what pattern I want to get next for the Neverfull. But this is my all-time favorite. This is my favorite bag from Louis Vuitton ever. I love it. And I believe the straps can um, hold up to 200 on each strap. So 400 all together. So this is my Neverfull, my baby. And this is the GM size. And I'll go ahead and sit it on my shoulder just so you can see. 
This is how it is in comparison to me. So it's a massive bag. I'm pretty small. I'm 108 pounds and 5'2". Um, okay, so let's see. Here, if we're going in order, the next bag that I received would have been my um, Steven Sprouse Speedy 30. Um, this bag, I received it, I want to say, because I got my Neverfull right in 2009, that was for my birthday. Um, I believe I got this one shortly after, I believe it was in, I think it was in 2010, or 2009 or early 2010. And as you can see, I barely use this bag. Um, I think since I've had it, I use it three times. The patina is very, very light still. And the reason for that is because I'm very careful with these bags because after I saw what I did to my poor Neverfull, I wanted to keep these nice because I believe they're collector pieces. So this is how the bag looks. It's got that beautiful rose pattern. And for this particular bag, since this is speedy, it is just one piece of fabric. And so it's upside down on this side and right side up here. And then it's got the beautiful roses pattern graffitied onto it. A lot of people have asked me if I painted this bag. I get that more often than not, actually. And then it's just the typical inside of the Speedy. And then the D-ring. So this was my second piece. from the Stevens Frost collection. Um, my third piece was my Louis Vuitton um, graffiti bag charm. I got this one after I got my Speedy. I didn't get my Neverfull and the bag charm together. Um, and this piece I actually went half on with my mom. Most of the purchases um, or bags that I have were either gifts from my parents or purchased half and half with like money that I got or birthday money or things like that. So this is the Louis Vuitton Stefan Sprouse um, graffiti bag charm. And then on one side it says Louis Vuitton, and then the other side, you won't be able to see it, but it does have a date code going up this side. All of the Louis Vuitton bag charms have date codes on them. The inscription is pretty small, but they're definitely there. So this is the bag charm in fuchsia. I believe they also had the phone charm that came in the three different colors as well. So there's that. Next purchase was this. This is, and you guys have seen this before, this is my Louis Vuitton Stefan Sprouse Roses Stole. This stole, I believe, I want to say it came in four colors, but it might just be three. There was a fuchsia, an orange, and a red, and then I believe there was a green, but I could be wrong. Um, so this stole um, was my first piece. I got this before I got my matching Neverfull. So this is how the stole looks. It's gorgeous and it's massive. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way so I can show you. It's massive and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very soft. And then on the bottom here it says Louis Vuitton right there on the bottom. And then, let me see for the tag. And this color, um, this is the fuchsia. It doesn't look fuchsia until you put it up against the red one and then you can tell that they're very different. This is very fuchsia. I'm trying to find the tag here for you so I can show you. Um, the scarf is absolutely, okay, here it is. So it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. That's where most of the um, fabrics and the clothes are made in Italy. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this stole. It's beautiful. So as you can see, the color pattern is different for this one. This color, is, um, it has more of oranges and pinks in it, whereas um, my Neverfull has more like uh, bright pinks and greens in that one. It's absolutely beautiful. So 
Then next, this is um, my second most recent purchase. This one I purchased, um, it was purchased for me, if I'm not mistaken, it was in my, my sophomore year. So I got it last year and I believe it was around winter break time um, because it was a late Christmas present from my mom. And this bag was actually purchased from Yogi's Closet. Um, it's a very popular um, pre-loved site that specializes in designer bags. And they are 100% authentic. So, and then you can see the patina for this one. It's a little bit darker than my Speedy, but still not as dark as my Neverfull. And as I said, you can really see those bright, beautiful colors. And I'm not sure if they're actually showing up. Um, I've got a lamp sitting above my computer. But they, I have an Outfit of the Day video where I use this bag and you can really see the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the inside, um, it's like this hot pink pattern, and then it does have one of those big pockets, um, just like all the Neverfulls do, and then the top is the same clasp, and it does have a D-ring. Um, I don't cinch this bag just because it is actually in the MM size. Um, I have since my cinched my Neverfull GM, though. So let me just show you what it looks like on me for height references. This is how it looks. So it's a really good size bag. And then with the scarf, see against the bag it looks red, but if you put the red scarf and the pink, the fuchsia scarf together, this one definitely is fuchsia. So, you can just see. So beautiful. So, okay, let's talk about the last piece. Um, this is the most recent, and you guys have seen the unboxing for this one. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, Steven Sprouse Leopard Charms Bandeau. This is also a limited edition piece. Um, the background is uh, kind of like this green and um, green and dark blue leopard print. And then it's got like this fun charms design. It says Louis Vuitton. It's so pretty. I've also done an outfit of the day with this one. You guys have also saw that. And then the tag, again, Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in Italy. And this is 100% silk. It's so beautiful. Pretty, pretty. Okay. So that is my Louis Vuitton Stefan Sprout. collection. Um, really quickly, um, some pieces from this collection that I'm still searching for very adamantly on um, websites like Fashion File and Yogi's, or Yogi's Closet, excuse me. Um, I really want the Louis Vuitton uh, Stefan Sprouse wallet in the lime green and the graffiti to match my Neverfull. I think it'd be a cute contrast with the lime green and the fuchsia. And what I desperately want is a key fall. I want the fuchsia graffiti key fall, but I know the people that have them are holding on to them desperately. Um, and then I wouldn't mind a speedy um, in the graffiti print, preferably in the hot pink, but um, I'd take a green one too. So yeah, but I'm very, very happy and thankful and blessed to have the pieces that I do have, you guys. I, especially this never full. Like this, to me, this is my, I told you, this is my all-time favorite bag. I'm in love with this purse. I love it to death, and I wore it to death, which is why, unfortunately, she's got a bit of color transfer on her. But yeah, so, okay, guys, that's my Steven Sprouse collection. Stay tuned for more videos. Love you.